All right. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you might be. In time and space, Kenny is back here. Episode 93. We're making a cross-country south. We're down in Mexico now. The quest continues for tamales and pyramids. And I've spawned at the wrong location. I got to get us back to where we landed yesterday. We are VRO. I don't have a uh, any application that gives me a lot of detailed information on the airports down in Mexico. Got to trust uh, what I have in Sky Vector, and what, but we should be able to make our way around. So we are here in Mexico. Zoom out. All right. So up in here, things don't get interesting until I guess we get down here. We need to be, I guess one of the first temple complexes or pyramid complexes around Tampico or south of Tampico. And then we start going towards uh, Teotihuacan, which is closer to Mexico City. And it doesn't start getting really exciting, I guess, until we get down into here. And I guess there's a lot up in here, so we'll just see how, uh, I don't even think we're going to make it that far today at all, at all, at all. I'll be surprised if we make it to Mexico City. But let us get spawned and let's see if there are any jobs in Neofly that'll take us in the direction that we want to go. When my favorite pilot is working. Why? Thank you very much. Everything is on board. So I'm just, yeah, that's kind of what we want to go. do. Contact the tower for clearance. Yeah, and Tampico is still way south there. That's perfect. We really wanted to head towards the coast, so yeah, this job will work great. See what kind of airfield they have there. Just a, some dirt. Just a road. Well, I'm sure we can. Well, it's a. No, it's an airfield. But it, it's jungle. Why not? MM94. Bring seven passengers. They're calling it the Hacienda San Juan Airport. <coughs> okay. I don't mind. So we have 1,351 pounds. We can't take the new job without with the engine running. Yeah, it's a problem with Neofly. All right, so we'll just come down in here and drag your conditioner, pull it down, and bring your prop down, and it'll think the, con the airplane is shut down. Gives me an opportunity to log in here. In case we pass by any interesting points, Bush Talk Radio will uh, start playing an audio. So we should be signed into Bush Talk Radio now, and that should give us our location. Yep. There we are. Like there are some things on our route that might trigger. All right. Yeah, cha cha. Oh, 
Good thing Sky Vector, we, again, no real detailed maps. But since we're going this way, let's see if we get any altitude. 9, 7, 11, 9, 10, 2. We had to go up to 13, 5 on our way down to clear everything. 10, 4, 11, 4, 11, 9. <clears throat> 13 1 right there 13 probably go back up to 13 5 again See if we can take that job now still thinks the engines running here we go good morning my favorite transporter Passengers will board as soon as you request it. Oh, I'm ready for the passengers when you are, ma'am. Pilot from dispatch. Boarding passenger. Please stand by. Passengers. Okay, we need 1,000... We know it says we need... Now it's only two passengers. What? Did it go to a different job? Come on. Going to MM94. All right, well, let's plug that into our UPS to see if we get MM94. MM94. Transporter from dispatch. Everyone is on board. Let's go. Hacienda San Juan Airport. That seems right. Okay, plug that in. Great. Okay, let me get some of these screens out of the way here. Got screens all over the place. They're not real great about giving us maps exactly where these pyramids are. They're all really vague and they're like, well, go to Cancun and then go here, 40 miles here. Good luck finding a detailed map exactly of where all these pyramids are. What a pain in the butt that has been this morning. All right, so we've got that taken care of. Get our propeller back up. If the engine has stopped on you, just start your plane again. No, oh, go up, 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 and away. All right, let's see if our prop completely stopped. It did. All right, just flip this back up and get that started again. The inertial separator. That sounds like something from Star Wars, doesn't it? Chewy, turn on You're the inertial separator. Go. Contact the tower for clearance. All right, let's get dialed in for 13.5. I was so impressed with the landscape coming down here yesterday. Wow. To me, it makes total sense now why they built almost pyramids, you know, the pyramid style that they build down here. When you look at the terrain, I mean, it's written in the terrain. Okay, 6,000. Keep spinning that knob. 8,000. No, I mean. 10, 11. There's 13, 5, 13, 6. Okay. Check our weight and our fuel. Need at least 300 over 400 pounds. And we got to go back into Neofly, purchase fuel there. It's synced. I mean, uh, if you don't have, <clears throat> if you do not have it synced, you can purchase your fuel in the simulator. If you have it synced with Neofly, you've got to purchase it in here. Yesterday I took off, no fuel. Thank God I made a nice, safe crash landing. All right, so 1,321 pounds of fuel. Ah, and so much fuel. Gotta have better engines. You can't do this while the engine is running. Ha, 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 ha.
Such a pain in the butt. There, how about now? Buy the fuel, please. Yes, I really want to buy it. All right. Start it up again. All right, now... To make sure that we get the maximum bonus or even more bonus money or experience in NeoFly. They have the Sky for Sims app that you can download with NeoFly. And it appears as this icon, like the number four up here. And that opens up this, but now you have to turn on the server. So let me, that only takes a moment. Pretty fast. That should be popping up right about now. Okay, so this app here, it's got a lot of little neat functions that I don't use. Map, airports, flight planners, weather documents, PDF reader, bush trips, notifications, notepad, whiteboard, pilot book, descent planner, freelance jobs. I want this one right here, NeoFly career. Okay. So this tells us it knows what mission we've chose. And now it's telling us we need 1,521 pounds of payload for this job. So if we come back over here, grab our weight and balance screen again. Okay. So as I start moving my payload up, 1,500. Okay, so there's 1,591. So leaving it right there, We'll get plus 70 experience, I guess. I don't know if we get paid more, but I think we just get more experience. So we're at, I mean, it's turned green now, so we're within range. The more I put, the more payload I put, the more bonus I get. A 656. Plus 656 bonus for all that weight. I really don't want to be that heavy. I really want to be able to get to 13,000 feet. So as long as we're above 1,521, I'll be happy. I'd rather put it in fuel, to be honest. But we've already shut the plane down, so <clears throat> we've got the plane started again, I mean. Okay, so there's 108 plus 118, and that's fine. As long as we're in the green, I did do a little bit of damage to the plane yesterday with that running out of fuel. So not too great. Now to fix the engine damage and the um, and the hull damage, you'd have to go back to NeoFly. Let me show you where that's at. In the same place we just fueled up. Drag the screen up a little higher. All right, so down here, here's the hull, and here's the engine. See how much it costs? It's usually super expensive, even for the slightest amount of damage. So don't even worry. We only did just like six percent of damage let's see how much this is going to cost us to fix five thousand two hundred dollars you can't do this while the engine is running okay we'll tune up at the next place but you get an idea how much it's going to cost us we can deduct from our flight today and for the engine just to get the engine tuned up it's going to cost us three thousand four hundred and fifty almost 9,000. This job that we're on is going to pay 22,000, so yeah, almost half. Under half, but okay. We're good to go, though. So, sit back and relax. Remember, you're always the VIP on these flights. Take any seat you want. I imagine that there's no seats. I imagine that there's couches on either side. In a big bar in the back with lots of food, anything you can think of, coffee, whatever you want. You know, even a little emergency uh, lavatory service in the backpack. Nobody can see you. Your privacy area. 
Uh, and if you just want to lay down, yeah, couches. So, I wish I could strip all these out. Maybe in 2024, in the 2024 version, they'll let us customize our interiors. That would be nice. Okay. And there's our course in the GPS. We are headed east. And we're off. Thanks for joining me today. Again, just kick back and relax. We're doing our smoke break here shortly at the uh, 20 minute mark. What did I just do? Hold on a second. <laughs> Sometimes Windows, man, it it's buttons. Pilot, have a nice flight. Thank you very much. I'd like to imagine that we found some decent tamales here last night. That's part of my other part of this virtual quest. Pyramids and tamales, that's what's on my mind. All right, we want to start going the other direction. Put in the... Ah, <laughs> La Bamba. Altimeter 2997. All right, 2997. Soy Capitan, Soy Capitan. All right, we're gonna kick on the autopilot. We're gonna turn on nav and then engage flight level change. If it doesn't kick in your nav, re engage it. Well, I give that. And we've got to clear this hill. So, flight level change, it's doing 500 feet per minute. We're gonna to need to do better than that. So I'm going to go to vertical speed here on the deck. Come on, you. I'm going to go ahead and try to get us to about 900 feet per minute, 1,000 feet per minute. Don't want us wrecking into that. Actually, it looks like we're going to clear it just fine. We're not going over the, the top, the, the highest point. Just going around the edge there, so we're good. Just got to keep an eye on speed now. Well, that was nice hearing La Bamba. I think I have family down in Mexico right now that are vacationing. We have family down there, distant family, but we do have some family down there. But I know we've probably got some family members that are close family members that are vacationing down there right now. Drop the nose a tiny bit.
man, we are heavy. At 500 feet per minute, we're still just not picking up much speed. It's climbing. All right. over here very pretty you start to see that patterny patterns in the ground again it was really really noticeable in the previous flight stratification of the of the terrain super noticeable it was quite amazing all right this looks like I've got some flaps going on be a big reason why we're not picking up some speed there we go. Uh, and make sure the proper lights are on. Yeah, I'm good. Make sure bush thingy is tracking us fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's tracking us fine. Right, there was supposed to be something over here. There was something on a map. Again, they're not real clear about where the heck anything is. But it looked like there may have been something on a map, one map over here. I could only find possibly one thing over here near Kublikan, but I didn't want to go all the way over there. Anyway, there was, there may be something ruins or something up as high as here. area go 260 miles I'm gonna deviate a tiny bit let me put my heading on bug here get that going and let's just slide over a tiny bit towards the east Make a tiny little adjustment and switch over to heading so that we can clip that Monterey 
in some of these tourist spots over here and get bush talk playing. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Oh, maybe a little too much. Yeah, too much. Let's see. Such a small little adjustment in the heading makes such a big difference. Yeah, that's probably a better vector right there. Take this right into Monterey. All right. Ahora. Wow, that's an interesting feature in the terrain, that big skid mark right there. Man, this is neat terrain. Look at this area coming up here. That's far out. It almost looks like a half crater at one point. I thought it was going to be kind of boring heading down here. It's not boring at all. There are some neat things to see in the terrain down here. We got that heat blur bug going on again up at our exhaust. Don't know what's happening there. Yeah, look at these patterns in the ground. They almost look like, you know, when you like draw a sun when you're a kid, you just put these circle and then these diamonds radiating out from it. I mean, look at the little diamond patterns all radiating, radiating out from the center of that. I mean, they're all... It's almost like they're perfectly radiating from a central point. You got the big ones on the inner ring. Wow. Mother Nature, you are something else, man. Uh, woman. Wow. Look at how almost perfect these triangles are at this edge of the ring. All these little tiny ones. Man, that is too cool. That's crazy. Now they all lay down like that.
That is so beautiful. What do you think, Dr. Jones? Beautiful, huh? We only had somebody like Indiana Jones with us for a live stream like this. Indiana Jones, where are you? I need somebody who's an expert in Mexico. This terrain is far out. Dr. Jones, I need you. Jump on the live stream and tell us about all these cool things that we're seeing in Mexico here. Help us find these pyramids easier. We at 13 yet? Uh, we are just now at 13 1. So we'll be leveling out. Looks like there's still some pretty tall ones ahead of us. Hopefully we will clear everything. At Adjustment to heading again. One degree. Two degrees. All right, there's 13. Five. We're leveling out, picking up speed. Bring back the throttle a touch. We actually have a kind of a tailwind behind us today, but we're just not having the same kind of speed we had yesterday. We had good wind behind us, or we were doing like 140s. Not breaking 125 right now. We missed the 20 minute mark, it's 35 minutes after the hour. I wanted to post the screenshot over on Twitter. Pretty far out. Media Luna. 
Chi, estás seguro que la ves como magia aparece. Vos se llama, te jala, te sigue. Finalmente no hay escape, no es sueño, no te despiertas. ¿Dónde está? Búscala, la bruma de San Martín. 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 Madrugada se presenta, quieres dejarla pero no te deja. Tienes miedo, desorientado, está bella pero peligrosa. Labios rojos, pelo negro, vestido largo con lazos rojos. Imaginaria, iluminada, seducida y misteriosa. ¿Dónde está? Búscala, la bruja de San Martín. ¿Dónde está? Búscala, la bruja de San Martín. ¿Dónde está? Búscala. La bruja de San Martín, ¿dónde está? Búscala, la bruja de San Martín. going to be cloud cover, but over this way, this is where we're going to be entering the Monterey area. Contact Monterey Approach on 120.4. I've got our uh, co pilot, AI co pilot, handling radios. So he'll get it over there. 1204. Monterey Approach, altimeter 2992, radar contact. Okay? Back to 2992. 2992. Right there. All right, so, well, what's that down there? It's the mining operation. Yeah, looks like a mining operation. Who knows what's down there, though? So this is the Monterey area, Monterey, Mexico. 
According to Bush Talk, this is where we're at. That's us right there. I'll lower the music here in a minute and we'll get our audio from Bush Talk. Could be lots of mining operations, but you don't know what they're looking for. Could be alien artifacts. Sure, sure, it's a mining operation. Uh huh. Completely cloud covered now. There's a massive, a massive city down there. Very Santana like music. should be triggering one of these audios right here if not I'll make it trigger <clears throat> come on you're not gonna play you're not gonna trigger Make it trigger. The Estadio Universitario, nicknamed El Volcán, is a football stadium located oh. on the campus of the Universidad Autónoma de Nuevo uh, León in San Nicolás de Los Gaza, Nuevo León, Mexico. The stadium is the home venue for the Tigres Uenal, playing in the Liga MX, and has a capacity of 42,000 spectators. The stadium hosted several matches of the 1986 FIFA World Cup. It also hosted Copa Libertadores do America matches in 2005 and 2006, when Tigres qualified for the prestigious tournament. In October 1981, the British band Queen performed in this stadium. Other oh, artists nice. that have performed at the stadium are Rod Stewart, Guns N' Roses, Shakira and the Rolling Stones. This looks like a pool. Oh, it's around here somewhere. Oh, 
after all right let's do this the estadio bbva nicknamed el gigante do acero is a stadium developed by femsa and football club monterey in guadalupe greater monterey the stadium replaced the estadio tecnologico as the home of monterey ending 63 years of residency at that stadium the project was met with much controversy stemming from multiple accusations of the construction as an apparent impediment to wildlife growth on a local scale. It was inaugurated on the 2nd of August 2015 with the 8th edition of the Eusebio Cup, where Monterey defeated Benfica 3-0. Estadio BBVA received a silver certification from the leadership in energy and environmental design for its sustainable design. It was the first football stadium in North America to earn the certification. More than a third of the total land area are green areas. This proportion exceeds the current regulations. These green areas are used to filter rainwater, which will contribute to the recharge of aquifers. The northern boundary to the Rio La Silla is a wooded trail area that connects the stadium with a new ecological park. This ecological park and parking are also green areas, with a landscape design that blends with the surrounding environment with only trees and plants of the region to facilitate preservation and adaptation to the environment. I did get one for Monterey proper. Aero Union Flight 302, operated by an Airbus A300B4203F cargo aircraft, crashed in poor weather on final approach at General Mariano oh, Escobedo International Airport, Monterrey, Mexico around 2318 CDT on 13 April 2010, after a flight from Mexico City. All five people on board were killed, as well as one on the ground. At about 23.18 local time on 13 April, Aero Union Flight 302 executed a missed approach after a landing attempt and crashed the Airbus A300B4203F -F was on a scheduled international freight service from Mexico City International Airport via General Mariano Escobedo International Airport, Monterey, to Los Angeles International Airport, Los Angeles. The crew had been cleared to land the aircraft on runway 11 at Mariano Escobedo Airport, but it crashed onto the Avenida Miguel Oleman motorway, almost two kilometers short of the runway threshold. It struck a car, killing the oh driver. My. The airplane broke up and burst into flames. All five occupants of the aircraft were killed. There was a storm that caused wind shear and heavy rain, with a ceiling varying between 500 and 800 feet. The meta in force at the time of the accident stated visibility of 7 miles with light rain. Cloud cover was broken at 2,500 feet, overcast at 5,000. With intra-cloud lightning observed. Man, I mean, looking at, you know, I wonder if it was, you know, a day similar to today, probably worse. But look at how you can't see anything until you get down to the ground how low the clouds are fortunately they're obscuring our wonderful view i mean i could turn off real weather so we can see things but i'm really not so keen on doing that i like keeping it as real as possible but let's take a look anyway let's see what we get here Yeah, isn't that much better? I really like keeping it real, uh, real time and real weather, but yeah, maybe I shouldn't have it on for this. All right, it doesn't look like there's anything. Let me make sure in the in the cockpit that we're back on. Now. We haven't deviated very far at all. About 141 miles to go. 
crank that music back up. It does again, doesn't look like there's anything uh audio wise for us to trigger. So we get way over here. So we'll just enjoy the music and uh smoke if you got them. And we'll just keep enjoying the fantastic scenery. And continue our quest for tamales and pyramids. Hope you're having a great day. charge my coffee. I imagine I've got a nice coffee stand back here. Nice little place to smoke back here as well. Good ventilation. Good fans. I wonder how much headroom you have if you removed the these panels and dropped everything down to the lower cargo area. Still got all this back here in the tail that you can put for cargo. Like I said, good fans back here, good ventilation, good place to smoke. Got our speakers. I don't think they're bows, but they'll do. They're doing all right.
you've never tuned in to one of these before, the camera, there's a drone camera thing going on that I've never figured out why. The drone camera slowly over time just starts rotating, rotating around. And why it does it, I don't know, but it's constantly in a really slow state of rotation. So you're gonna catch me a lot making little adjustments like this and this as we go whenever we're in this mode the uh, drone view yeah now this is all just way more normal you just average normal if you had to just classify this kind of terrain this is just normal terrain at least it seems that way everything that we've just come from abnormal at way abnormal terrain that is some wild stuff that we just came through but you get back out here and now it's l normal almost America, I like traveling around. It's got a lot of nice things to see, too, in the United States. We've got some great terrain as well. For the most part, as you're traveling east from Colorado, I'm just so used to seeing so much like this. It's so normal. I go crazy after a while when there's just no mountains or changes in the terrain. Talk about car hypnotized. When everything's just kind of uh, normal and lulls you. Yeah. Same thing can happen in an aircraft. Even a simulated one. Start nodding off. Nothing to keep your attention. They call this the flying shed. Amazing that this thing can even fly. It is a shed. I love it though. What I'm trying to do is get my camera. See all that cargo area underneath I was talking about? You would actually make that the floor. Yeah, you could probably. Probably stand up in there. But we Americans were so much bigger today. Yeah, we're so much bigger today as Americans. Even when you're in the small planes that you'd normally uh, do your testing and training on, the average American is actually too, you know, too big for some of those planes now. This is the plane that really should be starting out on. The plane everybody needs. This is like your soccer mom minivan for air airplanes. And it's super expensive, like five million bucks. It's ridiculous. It really is. I mean, doesn't even have heated seats. Don't see a lot of USB ports. Um, to me, that's a real, I mean, I've been joking about conspiracies and pyramids and aliens and da-da-da-da-da. The real conspiracy, my friends, I think is the aircraft industry itself. Five million dollars for something like this. So it's got some cool electronics in it with the navigation, but that's also commonplace now. I mean, it's just like having a tablet with some apps on it. I mean, there's... 
you know, of course, a little bit more than that. Your life depends on it, but. But anyway, this this should be the plane that you uh, have to test on now, and that everybody should want for their, themselves, because you can get all your stuff, all your family, and friends, and not ever have to worry about it. This is like the RV. And I think this is the plane most Americans need these days, and again, for bigger bodies. Pardon that graphical error, that just kicked in a couple of days ago. Might need a graphics update, but that's supposed to be just a heat blur. And I've never seen it do that before. It's just our exhaust heat blur. Very strange. Um carinho delicado, um beijinho escondido, um samba com você e uma canção feliz. O presente, felicidade e a vida se vive assim. We can start coming down now. You know, beginning of the set. Five miles. Yeah, there's nothing out ahead of us. According to the map, there's there are those hills over there. But according to that, we've already passed the highest ones. We do have that one coming up in front of us. Probably hold it ten just to be safe. You're high out there.
Se eu vivesse um dia, sentiria a mesma coisa. Eu teria tempo de amar. Meu amor, meu amor. Às vezes eu sinto como uma feiticeira. Eu posso mudar as regras e te amar para sempre. Got a bit of a tailwind. It's kind of, it's kind of pushing us. If you look right here. Uh, that is our wind indicator. We got a two knot wind. Pushing from heading to 250s to 270. Kind of pushing us. Pushing us this way. Making sure we're on our GPS course proper. Nine thousand feet, alt hold. Put a little bit throttle back in. All right, starting to pick up speed again.
All right, we're cleared through this area of space with air traffic control. Nice bit of music. 13 minutes after the hour, you are flying with Kineas, a sky dude. I'm not gonna say the sky dude, I'm just a simulator pilot. I'm a sky dude. Although I think I am the only Sky dude on YouTube. Like, uh, yes, maybe I am the Sky dude. Sounds like there's some distortion in the audio there. It's an imperfect world.
Thank you for liking my post, Chris. Thank you, Chris. Thank you very much. 18 minutes after the hour. You know what that means. It means that 20 minutes after the hour, it's time for our smoke break again. So close to our destination. That darn drone rotation. Getting into some more interesting looking terrain. Five miles. <laughs> come on, get close to me. Right, come on, come on. Get it on on the back of the plane. Uh, our smoking. And make our way towards the back of the plane for our smoke period, smoke break. 20 minutes after the hour. Smoke if you got him. Puff, puff, pass. Plane knows where it's going. We're all right for a minute or two. I'm going to try to increase, we're not dropping any frames, so I'm going to go ahead and try to pump a little bit more into the graphics. Still not dropping any frames. I'm gonna try to go a little bit more. Cuando yo me 
cuando yo me siento triste, ahí yo me pongo a cantar, para ver si la tristeza en canciones puedo plasmar, para ver si la tristeza en canciones puedo plasmar. Getting another descent down to 7,000 feet.
bring a stand of 3,000. We are looking for MM94. There's MM94. All right, the wind is blowing from the west, so we want runway 34. That's the best, trying to land into the wind the best we can. Pitching the nose down. All right, beginning of the scent. And we're about 30 some odd miles, 35, 32.7 it says. We need to stretch when we get on the ground. Get some coffee. Pull up the map, try to find the nearest pyramid. We're going to be going south. We need to find a job that takes us south towards we need to come down here. on me. There's some, supposed to be something kind of near here. I don't know exactly where. A lot of nice water. And we are up here.
right, 3,000 feet. We'll be leveling out here in five, four, three, two, uh, one. You don't have to hang on so tight anymore. Pick up speed. Unfortunately, unfortunately, down here in Mexico, I don't have uh, I don't have an app that will allow me to bring up all the charts for the different airports down here. So we just do standard uh, entry procedures, yada yada yada. Sky Vector pretty much just covers North, uh, you know, the United States very, very well. Somebody was asking me yesterday in the chat room, what do you use for free flight planning and uh, airport charts? Skyvector.com. Easy, easy answer. Skyvector.com. Totally free and it's amazing. There, Yeah, there's lots of great, amazing softwares out there for flying. But if you want free and amazing, skyvector.com. The, the only choice, man.
All right. Entry up ahead. We getting La Bamba again? This one we get the vocals. Soy captain. I know just how you feel. These were on. Left my landing lights on. Eh, well, whatever. I'd recommend you put your seatbelt on, but you don't have to. And you can keep smoking, I don't care. Yeah. 44 minutes after the hour. Getting ready to land here. Then we need to head south. That is the goal. That we can find some tamales here. Lunch is on me, whether you like tamales or not. Eat whatever you want. But I'm looking for tamales. Separator open the whole time, damn time. Ser com você e nunca 
I gotta go ahead and turn off the autopilot, put in some flaps. Every time you put flaps in, your nose will rise sharply for a moment. so heavy we're just picking up speed i have the throttle almost all the way down still just going mighty fast to raise the nose bleed off some speed there we go full flaps Got a wind pushing us, pushing us sideways. Not heavy, but I need to take back off into the wind, so let's get back down to this end of the runway. Welcome to someplace in Mexico. Lunch is on me. Desde el 
Gentlemen, how are you doing? Good to see you for the first time. Up. We'll do our fuel and neo fly. No, we're moving. No, don't move. Okay. All right. So we need to get paid for this job because of the damage to the, the slight, just the slightest damage to the plane, and an, we need an engine tune up gonna eat into almost half of our profits for this flight terribly expensive to do anything with flying turn off our landing lights forgot to turn on the taxi lights but we'll turn them on now transporter disembarking of passengers can begin All right. So we're getting paid for this job, uh, 22, 22022. We're paid up here. Transporter from dispatch. Disembarkation completed. Thank you. See you soon for another mission. Good. Pay us. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Well, we gotta have some lunch. We gotta figure out what the heck we're doing. They don't make it easy to find these pyramids. Let's try to see if we can find a job that takes us now straight south down towards Tampico. That one's pretty good. Halfway there. Nine. That one's not so bad. That's probably going to be the one. Now, hang on right there and enjoy your lunch while I, um, Go try to find out about this pyramid that's supposed to be over in this direction. All right, where's my screen? Pyramids of Mexico. All right, so according to this map, it's actually a lot further. So it's still, the first one would be very south of Tampico, so. Yeah. But I can't drill down on this map here. almost parallel with Mexico City, so we have quite a ways to go past Tampico. I'm looking at, uh, there, I'm looking at a map you can't currently see, but I'm trying to follow the highway down. Back on this one. Following the highway down. That's Tampico. Costa Rica.
supposed to be in this area here. Okay, so what is that one? They don't have these numbered. That one's Cancun. Pizza Nizza. Pyramid of the Magician. Modern Merida. Let's see if I can find it. That, like It's like they expect you to know where these places are. You have to visit La Venta. The site is located in a wet, humid corner of Mexico, about 90 minutes by car from Villa Hermosa. But like, look, I don't know. It's, I don't know where these places are at. And they don't have them labeled on this map as to which one I'm looking for. You folks make this so difficult. Give me a minute, please. Tahin. Okay, so we're looking for the El Tahin ruins. It's a pyramid, but it's different in the fact that it's got a bunch of niches in the sides of it. Okay, and that's directly east of Hidalgo. So south of Tampoco, east of Hidalgo. Okay, just south of Poza Rica, in between two highways. Okay, so basically, if I've got this right now, Poza Rica, and it's in between these two highways, El Tahin. There it is. Okay, there's the location of our first pyramid. And we are up there. How do I put a marker? Captain. Well, I see it. We're still up here. So we need any <clears throat> any job that'll take us all the way down to here, to Poza Rica, towards Poza Rica. Okay. Get back to this thing. Keep scrolling. Better luck at the top.
Okay, yeah, that'll take us... Do that airstrip. Looks like a road. But it's an airstrip. All right, so this is a passenger flight, two passengers. We're only gonna make 9,000 on this one. The drag, oh well. From dispatch to transporter. Let's take these passengers to their destination. I kept it. Okay. The passengers are ready to board. I hope you have plenty of room. It looks like they have gone crazy at the duty free shop. So three thousand six hundred and fifty dollars to tune up the engine. Five thousand two hundred dollars in hull patches. Transporter from dispatch. All passengers on board. You can ask for the clearance. You think off. it'd be cheaper down here in Mexico? Uh uh. All right. So we need. So in here, open this up, and we will check our weight and balances from here. Which is more accurate. Five hundred and seventy four pounds. Wow, 574 exactly. Nice. Well, I'm going to be bringing some food on board. <laughs> okay. There is a way to buy and sell goods at these different airports. So I should have been checking these to see if any of them are selling gold. Everybody's buying gold. So if you just wanted to do a cargo movement to try to make your profits that way, there is a way to do that in Neofly. Just shuttle different uh, goods around based on the market. Okay. Back to the hangar. Put in some more fuel since we don't have to worry about weight. We're not going that far, so that should be fine. Okay. All taken care of. I need to actually stretch for a second. And grab another coffee and use the facilities. So we're going to take a, our lunch break here for a minute. And it won't be long. But... I will be stepping away from the computer for a moment.
I'm coming back, I'm coming back. I'm bringing us some uh, Jack and Coke. I got some coffee, but they were having a special on Jack and Coke in there. So who am I to pass up a An offer of Jack and um, Jack Daniels and Coke. Now, I'm not that particularly fond of the taste of, of uh, whiskey. It's all right, but I'm not one of those, you know. Um, <laughs> what's one of those? Well, guys that like whiskey and that really enjoy the, the, the taste of it. So, I've been learning about balancing food flavors and diff doing different things so i put just i know coke is extremely sugary in general but just a touch more sugar just a pinch of sugar and surprisingly a pinch of salt doesn't have to be a lot try a very small pinch to start with but if you add a pinch of sh uh, sugar and a pinch of salt into your jack and coke it will really take the top off of the Taste of the Jack Daniels. And you know what I'm talking about. You pour yourself a full Coke and put in some Jack Daniels and it'll just take over everything. You know, and I'm not talking about just putting in a capsule. I'm talking about putting in a shot, you know, a good decent amount. And about the shot limit, it just starts. All you can taste is the Jack. Very, very bitter. So anyway, let's get going here. We get our destination in. Our job is to MMEQ, so let's get that plugged into the GPS. It's gonna do a direct to. MMEQ. Hito Los Huastecos Montezuma Airport. All right. And um, I don't know about elevations on the way down there. I didn't check the elevation map. But let's set ourselves to 6,000 to start. Hey, buddy, how are you? Got a cat over here saying hello. It's freezing outside, and he wants to go outside. We need to be down in Mexico, buddy, for real. It's too cold right now. And what sucks is we're not getting any moisture with the cold here in Colorado. At least we're, it's going to be cold. Please give us some dang snow or some something. All right, so there's our route. Taxi lights on, stick on our landing lights. Fire it up. Everything 
looks good from where I'm sitting. Me too. Taxi to the runway and take off. Looks good here too. Oh, that tastes good. Cheers. Here's your health, well-being, and prosperity. Now, if the wind hasn't changed... It's still coming in a bit sideways, but at least this way. We're flying mostly into the wind. Hang on, that cat wants to go out really bad, so let me let him out. Right, all right, all right. So good, we are getting snow. I was just complaining, what, a minute ago? Saying it sucks that it's cold, but no snow. Yeah, the temperature just plummeted and all of a sudden, whoop, snow. All right, we're off. Well, we will be, let me turn it back up the music. back up El poco Pilot, good flight. Mm, thank you, and the force be with you. Climb up to let me put on autopilot, flight level change, put it to nav, not heading. There we go. We'll check the flaps are up. Yep, good. Everything's good to go. 21 minutes after the hour. Right on. Time for our smoke break. Smoke if you got them. 
turn off our landing lights and our taxi lights. Close the separator. We're gonna make it to our first pyramid destination today. Three, twenty, maybe. If we don't make it all the way to our first destination, or at least make it there, we'll spend most of tomorrow then. Or, you know, a good portion of the first half of tomorrow looking at that pyramid and then we'll move on try to find the next which i believe is tijuana teotihuacan over there in new mexico city we're starting to get some lag now have graphics up a little too high let me check those stats
I like that one. That was good. Looks like we'll be all right. Got a wind pushing us on our right side. It's only a two knot wind, but it is pushing us sideways. Isn't synthetic vision awesome? to stutter a little bit go ahead and Saber amar después perder Porque la vida y más de un tiempo Luz, cariño y besos que perdí Personas que partieron Luz, ya no quiero mirar Con tanta claridad Desnudas mi dolor Que 
creyendo que el amor es más. Y me quebraste contra el viento Hay luz Que me golpeaste hasta entender Que se trataba de saber Saber amar después perder Porque en la vida hay más de un tiempo Luz, cariño y besos que perdí Personas que partieron Luz, ya no quiero mirar con tanta claridad desnudas mi dolor. Five minutes after the hour. Mm -mm.
right.
It's <laughs> it's smoky back here. Right, 45 miles away.
Yeah. 51 minutes after the hour. for MMEQ. I got a setup for runway four. The wind is pushing it two six eight two nut wind. So runway four should put us at least into it somewhat. But we're all squared away with the uh, air traffic control. Got our clearance to the runway. down to 2,000 feet.
2072.
Sorry, I was doing a reply. Wasn't paying attention there. But we're coming into our pattern. I'm going to go ahead and switch the autopilot off. A little more throttle in. Uh, not much. Actually, no. Right. want to keep it in flap range here. feels like you're moving in slow motion when you're flying until you're right there at the ground. Pitch isn't working right. A pitch trim. Come on. Nose up. Yeah, so it doesn't look like we're going to make it to our pyramid today. But it's so close now, the first pyramid to get to in Mexico. It shouldn't take us any time to get from this second job here. Over to where it's going to be, so our first pyramid will be tomorrow. Cuando repica el bongo, hasta que explota el guaguanco. Todo quiere guaguanco, todo quiere guaguanco. De mi guaguanco, que es lo bueno que tengo. Todo quiere guaguanco, yo le traigo al guaguanco. Sí, y dígalo, todo quiere guaguanco. Turn on the landing lights this time. Put in a little bit of flaps.
All right, getting ready for our turn to final. And go ahead and put the pull flaps in. Landed on the wrong runway. So I should have come in on the other one. I got that wrong. I got the wings wrong in my head. There's only a two knot win. We should be we should be fine. We have arrived at our destination. Hey, thanks for flying Kid Airways today. You got us a lot closer to our pyramids. I appreciate that. All right, so we are now here. All right, so tomorrow we need to go. Transporter, disembarking finished. Have a nice day. Okay, we're right there at the top of the map, and we just need to Let's come go. down here to Poza Rica. Where I'm spinning my mouse right now, hopefully you can see that. Let me zoom in. This is where we're going, our first pyramid tomorrow. And on the map, it was between the two highways. And there it is right there. El Tahin. 
It's a stepped pyramid, but it's unique in that all along the sides of it are like little niches. And I'll find a photo of it for tomorrow. Uh, or link you to wiki or whatever and uh, be able to show you pictures and then hopefully it's in there Hopefully these pyramids that we're looking for are not just flattened out on the ground and there's something there in the uh, in the simulator for us All right. Well, we got paid So let's see where we're at da -da 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 -da. Okay back over 10 million and we have a 1% Tune up to do on the engine. That's gonna cost 200 bucks. Not a big deal. Okay, 200 is not a big deal. I don't know if any. We'll have to look over the jobs tomorrow and see if anyone, any of them, take us right there. It'd be nice to get paid and get us right to the destination at the same time. Okay. Off the avionics, the battery. All right, so let's have a look around where we're at here in Mexico. Oh, nice. We got a good place to hang out and go fishing for the night. I don't have the camping pack. But uh, there is a, a camping pack you can get. I really need to get it. And I guess it's persistent too. If you drop it and say this is our base, you can come back to it. So yeah, it looks like we have a nice place to the fish maybe we'll have some fresh fish i don't know if, uh, if the water's any good around here they they, they look all right and there's not a whole lot of industry or anything going on around here somebody's mom probably cooks some mean tamales have to do some begging yeah this is where we'll be for the night Yeah, we can't get into too much trouble. Let me go ahead, and since we're just sitting here, we're not moving, let me turn up the water. I normally have the water on low. I mean, unless you're on it and doing water or flying. It's like, why? Why, why waste the memory on it? But now we're here, and we're going to be here, so let me go ahead and turn everything up. It's just waves, huh? Uh, gotta remember to turn some of this stuff back down tomorrow. Turn grass and bushes on. Hey, we can go in it. Nothing in it. Your tender kiss in the moonlight. A lovely dozen roses just for me. Through magic words coming out of your Dancing on a fine sweet melody Do it baby, do it again Sing along with me, this person I know Dance to the rhythm again Till the night's over and over and then Do it baby, do it again Sing along with me, this person 
Get a picture of that. is it called again it is called Dun, 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 dun. Let me get another picture of the the water again. No, 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 no. Here we go. That's the shot. Nice. Okay, that's all done. All right. Dun, dun. song and they've all been good the music's all been good normal in st st this is stuff i don't listen to but you know when in rome right 
though, and I've actually really enjoyed it. I thought I was not going to enjoy listening to the Latin stations the last couple of days and going forward, and I was wrong. I've really enjoyed every bit of it. All righty, folks. We will see you tomorrow. Continue our journey on to El Tahina.